Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Starting the week together. 888-900-3393. Pat Unleashed on Twitter and Instagram and uh, Threads. That's that's our favorite one, of course. Threads. Yeah. We're dang, dang proud to be on Threads. How much time you spend over there on an oh average day? Oh, my gosh. I can't even begin to tell you how much time. Well, I mean, it's your show. I mean, you can take as much time as you want. <laughs> I don't want to spend the whole show talking about okay. my experiences on Threads. Give you the opportunity, you know. You know. <laughs> Have you ever been to Threads? I've never even. <laughs> I have never. I've never been there. Typed the word never, Threads never in my life. Yeah, never been. <laughs> Chris, what's it like over on, on the old to. Threads? Is oh, they lost it, me. Is it exciting? It from oh, they, oh, they lost no. you? Oh, no. When you lose no, Chris honey. Cruz. From a, it's oh, kind of like wow. when you lose a Jeff Fisher from a streaming service. Yeah, you know, right. when you lose a Chris Cruz from a right. social media outlet, that's not good. That's not a good sign that's a for bad you. Bad sign. Uh, well, we got uh, we're jam packed full of stuff today, and uh, and definitely uh, we'll make the apocalypse fun for you. So just know that going in. Yes, it's all apocalyptic stuff. <laughs> But it's going to be fun. Okay. All right? It's a promise, okay. right? Yes. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Or your money back. <clears throat> In full. <laughs> uh, Jeopardy host Mayim Bialik uh, posted a video of Israeli hostages, just as a reminder here, I guess. Yeah. Um, a lot of people need this reminder yeah. as to what Israel is fighting for. Hundreds, hundreds yeah. of hostages still that are in the uh, Palestinian area. From many, many, many nations. Yeah. It shouldn't be hard to get right. behind this effort. Sure shouldn't. Yeah. And all these people, you know, screaming in the streets for the Palestinians, hey, how about the hostages that are coming from your country? What do we have, 20? Uh, from the United States. And, of course, there's, you know, 400 or so still trapped there trying to get out. But... I mean, legitimately held. We've got 20 American prisoners. And so I, I'd i be fully in favor of sending Delta Force or SEAL Team 6 in there to get them. What, what, whatever has to be done. Bring them home safely. Kill hostages or kill, kill terrorists. Bring hostages home. Yeah. Before the hostages get killed. Uh, all right. So here's, here's what uh, Miam... Bialik posted. I couldn't believe anything like that could happen. A lot of babies, man. I can't even imagine what they felt. Every time I keep thinking where she is, I have no idea. Mm. We are waiting for you. Stop this madness. Stop the violence. It's like a classic ship shop. Please bring my family back. Back to us. Back home. No mother needs to feel like this. Terrible. Jeez. No That's hostage. pretty powerful. No hostage left behind. If pretty you're listening, powerful. it's just a bunch of home videos of these innocent uh, Israelis that were yeah. well and children and other toddlers not just israelis like we said Mm -hmm. yeah a lot of babies there man but no no no. it's all Mm. about you know free palestine right right rashida talib still um still posting pro hamas videos uh here's one of them we stand with israel explosions in gaza Across the country. She's fired now. No peace on stolen land. Mr. President, the American people are not with you on this one. Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Innocent civilians are going to be hurt going forward. I wish I could tell you something different. I wish that that wasn't going to happen. Right. Uh, but it is It is going to happen. Mm-hmm. I want to thank President Biden for his unequivocal support. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Yeah. 
to the sea. We will remember in 2024. Good. You do that. Joe Biden supported the genocide of the Palestinian people. Mm, genocide. Good gosh. The American people won't forget. Biden support a ceasefire now. No. Or don't count on us in 2024. What a terrible threat. Oh my gosh. Mm. Uh, the American people are with Israel. Uh, check out the, the polls. Um, it's these loudmouth idiots. These people in Ivy League colleges and uh, people from the Middle East, the Palestinian territories and Arab nations that are out there protesting in the street on their behalf. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Yep. <sighs> I can't take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, she also, um, oh, here's yep. <laughs> a Rashida Tlaib meltdown yeah, we gotta from a while ago. Yeah, we got to remind everyone who this woman is. Before yeah. she was in Congress, she was already certifiably insane. Yeah. Um, and and, and mm. there was an event that she was protesting at, uh, I think solo. Anyway, she got oh. dragged out. So just, just a refresher of the stability mm. of this woman who's saying, you can't count on us in 2024, Joe. <laughs> 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 you guys are crazy! You're an animal. Get a job. Get a job. Get she a did. Job. Yeah, she did. And and we're paying for it. <laughs> In more ways than one. Do we know what event that was? I don't know. I forgot. Of? I knew at the time. I forgot. But yeah, she's, she's hideous. She is hideous. And mm. I mean, there's other videos we didn't send in of just her just losing her cool on reporters uh, in recent weeks. But uh, she's mm. she's lovely. Yeah. Isn't she, though? Uh, I understand there's a movement with uh, to get some of these um, Jihad Squad members out of Congress. Boy, let's do that, please. Yeah, uh, a big money effort being donated to people to try to you know um, to try to back one of their opposition I mean, candidates. Now, now's the time. You're running it out of time, to, time to file for 2024. Got to do it. And and so there was a resolution up in Congress. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple as far as I've seen. Um, and it was just to condemn anti-Semitism. Hmm. I think that should be cut and dry, right? You would I mean, think, yeah. Like on college campuses and stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't. It, it apparently wasn't for the Jihad Squad. Hmm. And so uh, a reporter was asking a bunch of the members of the Jihad Squad, hey, what's the problem? Why can't you vote against anti-Semitism, right? Mm-hmm. That's a- Congresswoman, could I ask you really quickly, why couldn't you condemn anti-Semitism? I did. Mm. I do every day. I why didn't you vote for the bill no, that would condemn do anti-Semitism? Do anti-Semitism every day. But why every single day. Why didn't you vote for the resolution that condemned anti-Semitism on college campuses? Because I didn't agree with the resolution, but I've condemned anti-Semitism a million times. And we're fighting to end anti-Semitism in a real way and fighting to end hate in all its forms. Why can't you condemn anti-Semitism on college campuses? I've condemned anti-Semitism and Islamophobia mm. and hate in all its forms repeatedly. Why didn't you vote for the resolution? <laughs> wow. Wow. Gotta go. You know, if it was anti-Islamophobia, they would have voted for it. All of them. <laughs> yeah, well. Every single one of them. Uh, pathetic. Just unbelievable. And there was more pro-Palestinian fun. City after city, worldwide, uh, yet again. And here in America as well, like our nation's capital, where 300,000 people, 300,000 people mm. showed up. All right, look at that. Scaling the fence there at the White House. Wow. They were screaming things Free Palestine. like, Allah Akbar. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it was, uh, and completely ignoring uh, orders of the Secret Service to disperse, I'd like to point out. Mm-hmm. Kind of feels like an insurrection. I'm kind sure, of. I'm sure they'll yeah, be kind of does. arrested and thrown in prison for 20-something oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. years, right? We'll be arresting him for the next year and a half, yep. two years, yep. something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure, watch for that. Watch for that? Watch for that. <laughs> You'll okay. go blind watching for it, but do it anyway. I mean, they spray painted, you know, red spray paint all over the gate and all the marble Is that a problem? out front. You don't like that? It feels like... Look at that size of that crowd. feels like you could have done less on January 6th and spend oh. a substantial part of your life behind bars. Wow. Than what uh, was happening over the weekend. Mm. This is amazing to this me. This is something else. I never thought we'd see the day, but Look at that. here we are. Wow. From the river to the sea. 
Yeah. What does that mean yeah, to you? Yeah, what does that, what does that mean, mean to you? Uh-huh. What do you mean, from the river to the sea? What are you saying there? <laughs> wow. Yeah, from that... the river to the sea. <laughs> What's the other part of that? Something about... why, why aren't you yeah. uh, putting that on the sign as well? Go ahead and chant it. Let's hear the rest. What do you mean? Uh, they mean they want to wipe Israel completely off the face of the earth, and they're going to be, you know, from the river to the sea with uh, Palestine. Wow. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. That's that's the word. Uh, the crowd defaced the Marquis de Lafayette statue, too. Mm. Um, you know, I, what do you have against Lafayette? Right, seriously. What do you have against Lafayette? Oh, the statue. Look at this, man. Pathetic. These people. Pathetic. Uh, and, and for the way, uh, record, it's a good opportunity. Just, I love the trivia question. Which foreigner has more things named after him in America than any other? And it's the Marquis de Lafayette. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, that just, doesn't surprise just me. Just a fun one. Yeah, that is a fun one. Well, uh, I mean, soon it'll be, you know, give, give me a, give me a. Stalin. Stalin. Yeah, we'll do a Stalin Lenin. one. Stalin and Lenin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, they also defaced the Andrew Jackson statue. Yeah. Here's what that looked like. Oh, that I'm as upset about that one. Yeah, I know. But it's like, all right, he's, okay. got, the, he's got the Palestinian flag there. Oh, I mean, <laughs> kudos to whoever climbed up that high. But uh, that that one I'm not I'm not quite so hung up on. You're not a big Lafayette. Andrew Jackson fan? I'm not. That's weird. I'm not. Hmm. Wow, okay. Yeah. Um man, you're pretty picky. I mean you talk about someone who ignored the rule of law. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but yes. Yeah. So it kind of kind of works out nicely there. Let's see. What else? Uh, oh, you got to see the video of this guy. This guy, the next morning, uh, cleaning up the statue, uh, he is, um, he's every one of us the day after. I mean, just shell-shocked to see where our nation is right now. I mean, it was totally predictable. We knew we would get here, but uh, just to actually see it and then the reaction of a, a, a guy who loves this country. It just, there you go. Mm-hmm. The White House gates have been vandalized. The streets are strewn with trash, but the biggest insult is here in Lafayette Park with General Lafayette, the Palestinian flag was raised and it still remains. And they have this free Palestinian in graffiti. They have it here. Um, the General Lafayette and his compatriots, free Palestine, they have raised the Palestinian flag on the grounds of the White House at Lafayette Park and walk around with me. Look at this. I have, I've never been so outraged. They've raised the Palestinian flag and more graffiti. More graffiti. Look at this. Free Palestine. You see this? Free Palestine. And look at this sign. Look at this sign. Decolonize Palestine. Decolonize the United States. Workers World Party. It is unreal. It is unreal. I hate it to even touch it. This is what we've become. How can we allow this? How, how can right. the law enforcement watch for somebody to raise the Palestinian flag on the ground of the people's house, and we got to pay for this cleanup? Love that guy. Good stuff. Man. Jeez. He's absolutely right. I think what really sucked there is that our government workers weren't out there cleaning it immediately. Yeah. That guy was out there by himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they waiting until business hours on Monday? Are we... Are we still, we got a few hours to wait before we start scrubbing that thing down? Mm-hmm. I swear. They're just Yeah. Eight o'clock Monday morning. Well, <laughs> Eight o'clock. Uh, nice. <laughs> okay, sure. They'll be there. Uh-huh, government worker. Yeah, you know they'll be there. 9.30. Mm-hmm. Got to get yeah. extra coffee. <laughs> Shoot the breeze at the water cooler. I'll see you around 10, 15 mm-hmm. out there. And then, mm-hmm. well, hell, it's my lunch 12. break then. Yeah, well, right. After after lunch. And it's too cold out One, there. 1, 1.30. Yeah. I'll, yeah Two. Lunch. Something warms, like so, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right, let me tell you about uh, how to get rid of odors in your home and do so efficiently, very quickly. With this little unit right here, it has, before Jeffy asks the question, he'll he'll call us. He's not here today. (laughs) Call us. Uh, Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you something. (laughs) How many times do you have to save, do you have to change out the filters? Never. Uh, (laughs) No filters involved here. Just O3 technology. Sends out O3 molecules, cleans up the air from any nasty odor you have in your house. From the smell of salmon from the night before, or whatever it may be, litter boxes, pet odor. Ugh. It's is there anything worse than walking into a house and saying, mm, "You got cats, huh?" No. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> uh, so you just all you have to do is pop up the plug in, plug it into the wall, and. 
turn it on. And it's that easy. Mm. Just that easy. Go to EdenPureDeals.com. Enter the discount code PAT. You're going to save $200 this week on three Eden Pure Thunderstorm air purifiers. That's Eden Pure Deals. E-D-E-N. EdenPureDeals.com. Discount code PAT. And you'll get free shipping. You know, now that we've had the 1,400 murdered in Israel for no reason whatsoever, Tortured now to we've got to have a ceasefire hmm. immediately. There's just no reason for Israel to respond to any of this. Why would they? <clears throat> leave them alone. Everything will be fine if you just leave them alone. Wait, they <clears throat> left them alone, essentially, in 2005. So that didn't really fix the issue. 2005, they pulled out of Gaza under the uh, pressure <clears throat> from the rest of the world, the UN, the United States. Everybody said, "You know what? You need to let them let them be autocratic. Let them have self-rule, and and it'll be a lot better." Okay, well, this will lead to peace while we work out the two-state solution. So they pull out. How much peace have we had since then? Well, yeah, and who did they immediately empower as their representatives? Yeah, Hamas. Hamas. Immediately. They still support them, by the way. They, they still, uh, all the polls show that they're behind the action in Israel. So don't tell me that they they don't represent the Palestinian people because Hamas does. They literally represent the Palestinian people who put them in power. So anyway, everybody's calling for a ceasefire now. Um, president of Portugal had a chat <laughs> with the uh, Palestinian envoy to Europe yesterday. Radicalism Radical. creates an ambiance of radicalism. And this time, the radicalism started from some Palestinians. Of course, a group. Uh -oh. That's not an excuse for reaction. It was no. brutal. It was a brutal reaction, I'm, Mr. I'm President. Now, I'm, 10, I'm, 10,000 people I'm, died. Yes, I know. But this is... They can blame Israel for it. Wow. But it's this under time, occupation. But this time, uh, someone from know, your side Mr. started... Mr. President, he, we live under not, occupation should, 56 years. I know, but you should not have started. <laughs> well, yeah, anyway, let us, let us see what there is for Nice! You should not have started it. Oh, my. I, Thank you, Portugal. There's a guy with some giblets, right? Yeah, yeah. Right to his face. Mm -hmm. Like literally. Right, right in to his... his face. I know, I know, but you this You time, shouldn't have started you it. You shouldn't have started <laughs> I love that. I'm surprised. I wouldn't have expected that from the president <laughs> then, of Portugal. And then he turns away wow. from the Palestinian representative. And it's like, all right, let's see who else has a question over yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that's great. That's good stuff. How about that? Man, you'd like to see that in your leader, don't you? Yeah. Some I mean, giblets, a spine, a guy who stands up for what's right in the face of all of this protest, in the face of everybody yelling the opposite in his face. Now, that's a small minority, but they're a really loud minority. Oh. Really loud. Oh, definitely. And it's worldwide. It's not uh, unique to this country. It's not right. unique to Europe. I mean, we just No, it's had probably the, worse elsewhere. Just had the horrible um, death of a 30-year-old Jewish woman in... Uh, is it Lyon, France? I mean, they spray painted the swastika on her door and, uh, and there and killed her. And, oh, uh, no. I mean, that's happening. Wow, I hadn't heard that. In city after city. Oh, my gosh. These, these attacks on Jews who just want <sighs> to be left alone. You it's know what? Hideous. That's why we've got to stop the Islamophobia, Keith. Right yeah. There. That's, it's a really good example of why the Islamophobia has to stop. If we had ourselves a ceasefire, I bet that she right. would have everything never would be fine. been be fine. murdered. Yeah, no, everything would be great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's it's everywhere. Jeez. It's it's grotesque. My it's everywhere. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, there's a guy who explains the whole Israel versus Hamas situation. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh. 
If there was a Hamas terrorist attack at a queer rave in Brooklyn or Berlin, there'd probably be a purple-haired girl in the center of the massacre watching all her friends be brutally murdered. It's okay, guys. Resistance is justified when people are occupied. It's Israel's fault. Her best friends being burned alive and mutilated. It's okay, Michaela. Take one for the team. She'd probably take a knife and start stabbing herself. I'm fighting apartheid. Maybe you should reserve your anger for the radical Islamic Nazi death cult that started this war by massacring Thank 1,500 you. innocent people and doesn't give a shit about their own people and right. uses them right. as human shields. Thank you. Oh, but that's a little scary to say, right? Because those are the people that will actually come and kill you. I guess it's Amen. easier to just spew a bunch of anti-Semitic hate and say that Israel shouldn't exist and all those Jewish people. They had it coming, right? Well, you know what? You're not a peace-loving person. You're not a part of a resistance movement. What you are is the kid in elementary school who sides with the bully because he's too scared to stand up for himself. You are an intellectually dishonest coward and everybody knows it and the only reason no one says it to your face mm -hmm. is because having a conversation with you is f***ing insufferable <laughs> nice love him that is good stuff right there <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff i love it oh man he's right yeah he's right yeah anytime you can mix in the word insufferable it works out and you get a double bonus if it has a gay lisp kind of going with it as well. It's more powerful. <laughs> insufferable. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Effing insufferable. <laughs> more effective. The lisp makes it more effective when it's coming from him. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, speaking of guys talking truth, mm -hmm. Bill Maher had this message for the pro-Palestinian liberal crowd. He's been pretty good lately on this issue. And finally, new rule for all the progressives and academics who refer to Israel as an outpost of Western civilization like it's a bad thing. Please note, Western civilization is what gave the world pretty much every damn liberal precept that liberals are supposed to adore. Right? Yeah. Individual liberty, scientific inquiry, rule of law, religious freedom, women's rights, human rights, democracy, trial by jury, freedom of speech. Please, somebody stop us before we enlighten again. <laughs> and since one can find all these concepts in today's Israel and virtually nowhere else in the Middle East, if anything, the world would be a better place if it had more Israels. Of course, this message falls on deaf ears to the current crop who reduce everything to being only victims or victimizers. So Israel is lumped in as the toxic fruit of the victimizing West. The irony being that all marginalized people live better today because of Western ideals, not in spite of them. Mar Martin Luther King used Henry David Thoreau's essay, Civil Disobedience, to help shape the civil rights movement. The UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights owes its core to Rousseau and Voltaire. Cleisthenes never showed up for a sexual harassment seminar. <laughs> but without him, there's no democracy. You don't know that. The cop mm -hmm. who murdered George Floyd got 21 years for violating his Fourth Amendment rights, an idea we got directly from John Locke who no one in college would ever study anymore because he's so old and so white and so dead. <laughs> so Western. Yes, that's how simple the woke are. It's never about ideas. Hmm. If it was, would Man. they be cheering on Hamas for their liberation? Liberation? To do what? More freely preside over a country where there are no laws against sexual harassment, spousal rape, domestic mm. violence, homophobia, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. honor killings, or child marriage. This is who liberals think you should stand with. God, that's so great. Women there should be so lucky as to get colonized by anybody else. And for the record, the Jews didn't colonize Israel or anywhere ever, except maybe Boca Raton. <laughs> Gaza wasn't seized by Israel like India 
or Kenya was by the British Empire, and the partitioning of the region wasn't decided by Jews, but by a vote of the United Nations. Thank you. In 1947, Finally. with everyone from Russia to Haiti voting for it. Yep. But apparently they don't teach this at Drag Queen Story Hour anymore. <laughs> Now, it is true that for too long, we didn't study enough Asian or African or Latin American history. But part of the reason for that is, frankly, there's not as much to study. Colleges <laughs> replaced courses in Western Civ, boo! <laughs> I roll, dead white men, am I right? <laughs> they replaced that with world civilization classes, which is fine in theory, but what it meant in practice is you read queer poetry of the African diaspora instead of Shakespeare. And I'm sure there's value in both. But as usual, America only ever overcorrects. And so we're at this place now yep. where the words Western Civ became kind of a shorthand for white people ruined everything. <laughs> but, <clears throat> But they didn't ruin everything. No, they didn't live up to their own ideals for far too long and committed atrocities, but people back then were all atrocious. Thank you. Not just the white ones, depending on who had the power. But Thank it was you. the Western Jeez. Enlightenment that gave rise to the notion that the law of the jungle should be curbed. Yep. Henry David Thoreau, John Stuart Mill, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, three named dudes. <laughs> It was all about three name dudes. Three name dudes like that were the OG social justice warriors. The ideas that came through Athens, Rome, London, Paris, and yes, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. are what make life good for most people in free societies today. Yeah. That the individuals have value, and even the powers that be must submit to the rule of law. That punishment should not be cruel and unusual. The accused get pe people get a trial. That there is such a thing as a war crime. Why is it that every other culture gets a pass, but the West is exclusively the sum of the worst things it's ever done? Right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful, Bill. Uh, people on the right are starting to like you, and I don't think you want that. I really don't. <laughs> you, you don't want that. No. Pretty soon, you're audience is going to be filled with republicans oh my gosh can you imagine the horror <laughs> <laughs> that's wow that's a pretty darn good monologue right there though yeah, and they is. might make you even more richer if you continue yeah. talking like that yeah look out look out we've got some money to spend and we like to spend it on people we like so yeah that's he's getting into <laughs> danger territory there. <laughs> right <laughs> okay don't make me like you <laughs> jeez but you know he's always been he's always been good against the uh, extremism of terrorists, yeah. and he doesn't seem to enjoy the whole Islamic radical thing where they you know cut people's heads off and kill innocents at festivals. He he tends to frown on that like we do. So yeah, and I, I appreciate him. Uh not only sticking up for Israel, but just sticking up for Western civilization. Like, yeah, you're right, welcome. Right. And, you know, in addition to the John Locks and the Montesquieu's and all of the people that he mentioned or very nearly mentioned, let's talk about the 56 from this country, mm -hmm. the Washingtons and Jeffersons and Thomas Paine's of, uh, of history. All right. Let me tell you about uh, Raycon. It may be too early to start decorating for the holidays, mm -mm. although people are. I already done. I'm done. You, really? I, I knocked that out on Friday. Wow. A little bit on nice. Saturday. Yeah. Well, it's never too early to start your holiday shopping either and get that taken care of. <laughs> Why not take care of it right now before the crowds and the packed calendars make shopping a total nightmare? Um, that's when I usually start mine is, you know, Christmas Eve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can you can uh, shop Raycon products right now. Yeah, get it over with. Save up to 50% off because their early Black Friday sale is going on right now. You've heard me talk about Raycon's products before. I absolutely love their everyday earbuds. Uh, known for delivering high quality and thoughtful features like a 32-hour battery life and a perfect inner fit for all-day wear and lasting comfort. They don't keep falling out of your ears. They're fantastic. 
Uh, plus, the five-star reviewed Magic 180 cable allows you to charge your iOS uh, with micro USB and Type-C devices eight times faster with 100-watt power delivery. So, I love this stuff. You're going to love them, too. Raycon is currently offering 20% off everything. Unleashed. Got some tweets here. Amateur monger of hate tweets. The older I get, the less I like changing the clocks back and forth. Me too. I'm old school and like analog clocks, so I know something in my life is right twice a day. (laughs) I noticed that uh, we just have one clock. It's the one on the oven. Okay. That uh, doesn't change itself. So it's really not a thing much anymore. Mm. You know, you wake up with clocks that change because they're on the internet or have access to the internet or whatever and it's all done it's kind of cool uh even my car just changes Hmm. so it used to be that you know the car would be an hour behind or an hour ahead every time they switched and uh it was irritating but you don't have to worry about that anymore we could do to fix this is uh have a Congress that doesn't suck, gets things done, stops talking about them, mm-hmm. doesn't do it halfway, and then be like, ah, oh, just kidding, can't get it through the other house. Why the hell not? Then what I'm referring to is Marco yeah. Rubio's plan to just stop with the daylight yeah. saving. quit. Let's quit. Stop it. Let's do one time and keep it all year. In fact, I, I want it to be the standard time, too. I, you know what? I want it now. I've been Overton windowed. I don't care. Yeah. I just, just I don't just, want the clocks to change. Right. That would be nice. Ugh. It'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, Eric White, phosphorus, tweets, <laughs> free Palestine is like saying free Atlantis. They're both fictional lands oh, that no. never existed. <laughs> so true. I love that. Eagle, uh, Rashida Tlaib has a gay pride flag outside her office next to the Palestinian flag. I wonder if her Arab constituents in Dearborn know about that. Uh, yeah, a little incongruent there. Um, they don't really get along well together. Mm. Muffer Squish uh, tweets, I guess Biden will just have to count on the voting machines instead of Tlaib's people. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. We have an interesting video we'll have to get to later. Uh, we have an opportunity. Um, a guy thinks he might have found a smoking gun in Georgia from 2020. Let's, oh, really? I'd like to get your thought on okay. this. It's uh, kind of circumstantial, but, but let's huh. see what you think on this. But, I mean, I'd like to revisit my proposal from last week. Uh it's every make every ballot a write-in ballot. Mm. Mm-hmm. You have to write it out. If you can't spell yeah. the name, then the candidate doesn't get the vote. <laughs> <laughs> what if you come close? No. No? No, now we're getting the hanging work. Chad territory. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Yuki Attack tweets, Many of the same people who are, wearing, who are tearing up our cities with Antifa and BLM are tearing up our cities with Hamas. Sure, mm-hmm. right? One square mile of Nadler's butt. <laughs> That's as a, a message to Rashida to leave. Wait, I, that's the name of the yeah. tweeter? Yeah, one square mile of Nadler's butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Define evil hypocrisy. Supporting Planned Parenthood while condemning the killing of Palestinian babies. You can't make this stuff up. Oh, a message to Rashida to leave. Yep, yeah, yep. okay. Uh, also, this is really disappointing because apparently we lost a bunch of fans uh, over the weekend. We were blocked. Hmm. By Instagram in Belarus and Russia because we had a uh, Chris posted a, a video of me talking about democracy. <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, how it's bad and we're not sheep and we are the one in charge. So they did not like that they didn't in like Russia it. or Belarus. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're not sheep and they're the shepherd. Yeah, we're yeah. not the cattle and they're the rancher. Yeah, they did not like those words. So in Belarus and oh. Russia, people can't view, like, or comment. On that video. So, Dang it. So, man. Oh, man. Yeah. That hurts. That so, that hurts, Instagram. So, that says, like, Dang blocked it. in your country. Yeah. Right? Blocked right. in your country. Man. Sorry. Dang it. That's just really disappointing. And that's uh, that's one of the reasons, by the way, uh-huh. that, uh, that we made The Blaze what we made The Blaze, the website. Um, Blaze.com. You need to go there and check it out because it's a streamlined, really beautiful uh, website now. Got all kinds of things going for it. And one thing that it doesn't have, ads. 
No ads on the page. So you can use the promo code Fungus Free <laughs> yeah. or Pat 36 to save $36 off your subscription. All right. Oh, but let me tell you, I didn't get to finish the Raycon ad because we ran out of time. Uh oh. So let me just tell you at Raycon.com slash gray to get that 20 to 50% off site wide. Uh, that's buy, B U Y, buy Raycon.com slash gray. To score up to 50% off Raycon products, buy Raycon.com slash gray. All right. Um, have you seen the Palestinian sympathizer who was looking to kill Jews in America? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mm. We got, look at that. And there he is. Yeah. Yeah. So he was wanting Looks to... Looks like a wonderful cat, doesn't he? He wanted to shoo up a Jewish center, I believe. Yeah. Um, but, but, you know, if there was a ceasefire, then he would have changed his plans. Oh sure, sure. I'm sure. I'm sure that's true. Jeez, I mean, I mean that's just the one incredible. we caught, man. How many are right. out there? How many? That... Mm-hmm. Okay. And isn't he here illegally? Yeah, his yeah. visa ran out or whatever. His. Uh, well, that so, sounds familiar. Yeah, he sounds 9/11ish. Yeah, it does. So uh, we need to wish him a hearty hi ho and go back to wherever you came from. Hey, hey, ho, ho. This Palestinian supporter has to go. I like it. Write that one down. You like? Chris, okay. write it down. Write that down. Thanks. Because <laughs> it's pretty complex. So so that's just one of who knows how many. And, I, and I'm sure in any American city where you've seen these pro-Palestine rallies, mm-hmm. how many individuals are in there with similar yeah. plans or thoughts? Yeah. It's not good. It's not good. Meanwhile, we got a group of Middle Eastern men spotted moving northward. All right. And they're a little bit camera shy, too. All right. Yeah. Amigos, what country? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. What no, country? No, no, no. no. Why? No. What country? No, no, no. You from Syria? No. 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 Yes or no? Yes, sir. Syria. No, I don't know. Man. Look at this. this but yeah, look oh. At this. He's what got a mask on. Huh. Nice. Where are you going, guys? What are you doing? None yet. Hey, well, why is it a big secret? <laughs> wow. Mm. No, 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 no. Where's your families? Yeah, where's the little kids and stuff? Yeah, where's your wife, your ha- children? What's the problem? Yeah. No. Hashtag better no. life. Hashtag better life. Whoa. What's the problem? No. You guys from Syria? We're on a mission for freedom. Yemen? You guys okay? Saudi Arabia? Palestinian territories? No? Oh, okay. Nothing? Got nothing to say, huh? No! No! Well, they did have that to say, so... Uh, I guess that tells you everything you need to know. Mm-hmm. Then there's this guy pointing out some recent stories in the news. Oh, no. So, so have y'all seen what's going on this morning? What? Check this story out. Stop Gregory General <laughs> Contracting Company reported the thefts of 640 pounds of dynamite and 400 blasting caps. Mm. 640 pounds of explosives, 400 blasting caps. But wait, there's more. There's a cash reward this morning up for grabs after someone stole 400 guns from a Memphis UPS facility. 400 guns stolen from a UPS in Memphis, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Stop touching to deal with your beard. About 400 bulletproof yeah, like vests, that. which were donated to be sent to Ukraine, have been stolen. 400, 400 bulletproof vests stolen. Hmm. Now it's 640 pounds of explosives with oh. 400 blasting caps. His That's fingers are occupied. Guns, and he can't touch his beard. 400 mm-hmm. bulletproof vests. Hmm. Now mm-hmm. I don't understand. You know, I don't know the deal with the 400 yet, but obviously there's a group of 400 people somewhere. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now. The ones, the bulletproof vests that were stolen from a Ukrainian congressional building in Manhattan. I have a question on that. Why in the hell does Ukraine have a congressional building in Manhattan? And why do we have other governments with congressional buildings functioning in the United States of America? Uh, that's a fair question. This is the United States of America. The only government that should be functioning inside the United States of America is the United States of America. That's it. That right. makes no sense to me. I think he's overdue but, a beer stroke. But that yeah. said, y'all keep your head on a swivel. Uh huh. Wow. Something is going on. Something nefarious is happening, and I have a feeling soon we're going to find out what it is. But that's just my opinion. I think he's right. It's not good. Wow. Didn't see those stories. Have you seen those stories? Only uh, 
after he highlighted them. Only beard guy saw those. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, wow. I'm, seriously, I, I, I agree with him. I think one morning we're going to wake up and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 400 bombs have gone off somewhere. I mean, you can't live this dangerously with a wide open border um, no. allowing uh, terrorist sympathizers to mm -hmm. roam the streets, to roam the halls of Congress even, and just expect that for the rest of your country's existence, everything's just going to be hunky-dory. And you see, uh, these military age guys, obviously from the Middle East somewhere, and a nation that hates our guts, trudging toward the border, and we do nothing about it. Um, so is anybody going to inter intercept them on their way? You know that's not going to happen. Of course not. It's crazy. It's nuts. No, I'm going to give them maps and water. And yeah, right. And a, t and a phone. And a phone. Give them a cell phone. Probably um, a bus ride to a city of their choosing. Are we going to give them the, uh, the titanium phone that came from Saturn? Will we, will we do that, though? The one that, you know, busted through the Saturn rings and then uh, kept coming to the Earth and crash-landed here. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. I have a question. All right. Uh, what's wrong with Apple? Apple makes incredible commercials. That one is the first one that just... <laughs> kind of like, stupid. That is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and then the thing goes... <laughs> crashes here. I think it's cool that it smashed through the rings of Saturn. Yeah. You don't like that? Hmm. That's my All new right. phone, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one yeah, that came Chris from space. Chris has one. Yeah. It came from space? It came, came directly from space. from space. It's good, huh? It's yeah. that good. <laughs> is it radioactive? <laughs> Probably. Oh. Cool. Does yeah. It, does it make phone calls? I don't know. I haven't made a phone yeah, call right. in a while. Yeah. So. Yeah. A phone that makes phone calls. That's really <laughs> what, what a concept. Taxing That's is all I do. Uh -huh. uh, all right. According to a recent study of hundreds of post-abortive post women, 60% of them reported that they would have preferred to, give it, to have given birth if they just received support from others or had more financial security. And that, of course, is where preborn steps in. Preborn is there for women when they're making this really difficult decision between the life and death of their precious child. They're all being pressured to make the fatal decision. And they're being told that that's just a clump of cells growing inside them. But uh, with God's love, preborn introduces them to the life growing inside them. And that doubles their baby's chance at life. All they have to do is show the ultrasound and then they're twice as likely to go ahead and, and choose life because they see that that's not a clump of cells. It's really an important thing, and it just costs $28 for each of these ultrasounds. So if you can help, please just dial pound 250, say the keyword baby. That's pound 250, keyword baby, or you can visit preborn.com slash pat. That's preborn.com slash pat. Hey, I know it's a Monday morning. I know it's been hot and heavy. What do you, what do you say? Maybe an animal video? Oh, jeez. What? No, I don't say maybe an animal video. Okay, now what if, That's not what I say. What if I tell you it's an animal? Mm -hmm. It's chasing down a terrorist <laughs> and mauling him. <laughs> now are you yeah, on board? Yeah, I'm a little more interested. Okay, so yeah. let, let's take you into a... Is it an alligator? No, chasing no. Chasing down a terrorist? Ah, darn it. No, no. Let's take you in into a tunnel under, under Gaza... Okay. It's a doggy chasing mm. down a terrorist with the IDF. All right. This is fun. He's got a camera on his uh, back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like that? Oh, the guy's screaming. Oh, I'm getting over me. I'm not so tough now. Good boy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look now, at that. Now, if you get attacked by a dog, uh, does that do you still get the seventy-two virgins or oh. or not? I don't know. What if the like, for instance, okay. if the dog tears out your your neck, yeah, you know, and you bleed to death there, does that you still entitled to the virgins? Or I don't know. What do you do have we, to blow yourself up? Do to we make know that where, where the virgin line is? Oh, that's a good band name. Yeah. Virgin line. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know the don't parameters know of the... Maybe you get fewer virgins. Maybe. Like, they're like, oh my gosh, a dog did this to you? Well, the guy on Friday told us there was only two, yeah, right? right? Is there that was like two. downsizing now? Yeah, we've really... Shrinkflation. <laughs> okay. So that was feel good, right? You always like yeah. to see a, a terrorist yeah. getting 
Yeah, torn apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, if I were the soldiers, man, I'm just like. You you take I'd walk by the I'd be like you you take care of this guy you know we're gonna go and find more terrorists and let the dog you know mm-hmm. I thought sure. they were gonna stay out of the tunnels though because they were worried about about booby traps but apparently they're going to into some of them well I hate least, to right? say this to animal lovers but maybe that's why the dog maybe in the lead why. there yeah I'm sure yeah uh, also I guess our friend Jamal Bowman. <laughs> who pulled the fire alarm yeah. in the Capitol Hill just by accident, though? You know, he was just accidentally <laughs> did that. I don't know. Yeah, he's tried to vote. He wanted yeah. to open the door so he could quickly get in there. Uh-huh. It looked like the door led outside, though, so I'm not sure if he thought the voting was going on outside. It was a nice day, and sometimes they vote outside when the <laughs> weather's they? nice. Yeah, okay. That's kind of the thing. I don't huh. know who this CNN reporter is, but I love him because he's really been hounding uh, uh, Bob Menendez. And Jamal Bowman, both Democrats mm. who suck. Of yep. course, that's kind of redundant. Anyway, uh, but yeah, he will not let this go, and I love it. Hmm. Why did you uh, plead guilty to knowingly pulling that fire alarm when you said that you didn't know it? Initially, you told all of us you didn't know there's a fire you know, alarm. We're still talking about this, man. That's behind me. That's been adjudicated. <laughs> We're done. Pay the fine. No. Move forward in three months. No, because you lied. You, were, you, didn't, you weren't straight about what happened initially. I was very right. straight. I was no, straight you were not. Beginning. You so. said you didn't know, though. Right. I was straight from the beginning. No, so, you weren't. Yes. You didn't invoke that today on the House floor, though. What's that? A, 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 that incident, the fact that you had Come on, been, man. You've actually pleaded guilty, Come on, man. and he is still just being charged. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. That's all good. Any other questions about anything else? But, but can you just explain why you no, said that man, initially? We already talked about this. Anything else? All right. <laughs> Please do not answer. Ah, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, he didn't want to talk about the fact that he lied like a lying sack of crap. Manu Raju. That's the CNN reporter that roams the halls of Congress. Hmm. And he's been on fire lately. Good for him. Uh, Credit where credit's due. Yeah, right. Uh, So, in what's in top form with leaders of the Western Hemisphere? Oh, Biden. Oh, okay. So, so Biden met with um, some North American leaders. We'll play this after the break there, before he left town again. For Delaware on Friday. Oh, good. Did he get some extra time in Delaware? Because he's only spent like 45% of his presidency yeah. there. Well, I mean, So I'm hoping that sure. he has an opportunity to get home a little more often. Where there's no visitor logs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Where he can, you know, ingest all kinds of... Hook up uh, his brain mm-hmm. to modern medicine. Wonders. All yeah. kinds of injections or pills. Who knows? Whatever it is that's helping him get through his dementia. Yeah. And we're also, Straight. when we come back, we're going to prove um, a Jeffy theory um, that he had. He shared with us last week that we had uh, evidence of this weekend. And uh, you'll see for yourself. Jeffy nailed it, man. Okay. Uh, all that and more coming up on Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray Unleashed. is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Welcome to it. Thanks for being here. 888-900-3393. Uh, let me just take a minute to tell you about Nugenics. Guys, if you're tired of wasting your money on testosterone booster products that just don't work, I don't blame you. That's why our sponsor, Nugenics Total T, lets you try before you buy. Get a complimentary sample when you text 231-231. Enter the keyword UNLEASHED. If you're ready to, you know, lose your shape, your muscle, your energy, then you just do nothing. Uh, because as men, we when when we age, we we lose testosterone, the man hormone, the source of our fire. But Nugenics Total T boosts free and total testosterone levels to help you feel better at work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. There's uh, nothing quite like Nugenics Total T. My son's been do- using this for a while, and absolutely loves it says he just feels better after workouts he's got more energy just getting things done nothing better than nugenics total t testosterone booster with testophen will help you turn back the clock and re-energize your life but don't take my word for it try it before you buy it if it works keep using it if not keep the sample you got nothing to lose but 
you could gain energy, muscle, drive, even more passion. Get your complimentary sample when you text 231-231. Enter the keyword UNLEASHED. If you're not totally satisfied, Nugenics will refund 100% of your purchase price. Plus shipping and processing. <clears throat> now get a complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea when you text 231-231. Enter the keyword UNLEASHED. Text now and get a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, their newest and most powerful fat incinerator ever, with key ingredients to help you lose weight fast and get lean fast, absolutely free. Again, text 231-231, enter the keyword UNLEASHED. Do that now. Texting enrolls you into recurring automated text messages, consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Number one doctor recommended brand by primary care physicians based on an independent survey conducted by IQVIA 2022. Pat Gray is unleashed. I uh, told you about Joe Biden in top form, of course, as usual, <laughs> with uh, leaders of the Western Hemisphere. This is good stuff. Joe I Robinette. think Prime Minister Trudeau Biden. and President, and I think Prime Minister Trudeau yeah. and President Lasekele are so also, uh, what? Uh, and I also think President Chavez, uh, uh, for I want to thank them for committing to establish a new regional center of excellence right. in Costa Rica. He what? <laughs> Did we play I'm the very sorry, beginning what? of that. Did he call him Prime <clears throat> Minister Joe? Let me hear this again, very beginning. I think Prime Minister Joe and President. That, he was trying to say Justin Trudeau. 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 Yeah. And President Lasekele. Oh, whatever. And are President Lasekele. Uh, oh, President Lasekele. Oh. What? Mm. Who, what are you talking about? Costa Rica. Oh, man, he's bad. He's just bad. So, obviously, his brain was fading. End of a long week. Uh-huh. Um, he sucks. Mm. Mm. Um, and so, he's got dementia. And he sucks. And so he has to get back to Delaware to get the brain treatments. Mm -hmm. So that's where he heads after the week. Mm -hmm. And do you notice something Jeffy pointed out last week? Watch this. Oh, Jill's with him. So that means we're going to get the long stairs, right? Right? Correct. Jill will not be seen going up the short steps. So when it's... and it, I, I bet they rehearsed this, Joe. Just watch my feet. Left, right. Left, right. Mm -hmm. Look at that, man. Oh, Carefully walking hands. up the long oh, stairs yeah, yeah. together. That's great. All right. I'm going to turn around. No, I'm not. No, don't. Uh, don't turn around. No one won't see no, your ugly uh, face. I was going to turn around, but right. I can't. Get in there, Skeletor. That's too complex a move for me. I can't do it. <laughs> so he that, was going to turn around and do the wave or whatever, uh, what? the salute, he, the he wave. He doesn't know. He can't. He doesn't he know what can't. he's going to do. So that was with Jill. Yeah, then he's alone he when goes, he landed in Maine. Right. And uh -huh. watch the stairs he takes this yeah, time. Yep, yeah, oh, it's go. the short steps. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Is there video or just the photo? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. yep. Here, here we go. Okay. Okay. I can get down. I can do this. I can do it. I did it. He did it. I did it. Now I get a prize. He did it. I get more pudding. Okay, so... First of all, that that is a, hold on, that is a gorgeous setting. Where is that airport? Look at the trees back mm. there, and I think you see the ocean. Is that an island reflecting off of the Air Force One? I don't know. Whatever. Mm. It's concrete. Shut up. That's not concrete. Anyway, the trees back there, nice and lovely. Yeah, you're seeing a mirage. I'm seeing a mirage. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm 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 a, I'm Joe Biden. Everyone, yep. I'm just yep. seeing things. Anyway, Maine's a beautiful state. I got to get there sometime. Speaking of Biden, though. Who was elected in 2020 with, of course, 81 million votes. 81 million, that's 81 right. 81 <laughs> million votes. Apparently there's uh, some DeKalb County yeah. ballots so, in 2020 that were scanned in. Yeah, DeKalb County is uh, right next to Fulton County. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a fun little corrupt county. And um, if there was voter fraud, if... If there was voter fraud in Georgia in 2020, uh, DeKalb County certainly had their hand in it. But this guy's theory is, because when you go to the De DeKalb County uh, website to see all the ballots that have been scanned in now, um, he noticed that some of them had the word recount on them. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the only ones that had recount on them, according to him, were the ones that had 
just one vote, and it was for Joe Biden. And so he made this little uh, collage of these votes. Hmm. And as you can see, they all have one thing in common. Uh, upper right corner, handwritten the word recount. And you see, oh, there was, oh, now there's a couple in there for Trump, right? And I can't see. Uh, yeah, okay, I see, yeah. So Biden is the second oval. So yeah, every now and then you'll get a Trump one. Oh, you got a Joe Jorgensen. But most of them, uh, a very, very overwhelmingly large percentage of them are for Joe Biden. Mm. And so that his theory there is that they're so dumb in DeKalb County that they wrote the word recount on all these and ran them back through the machine. Again, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just showing you what uh, theory hmm. he posited for us there. So uh, all right. Anyway, like I said, write-in ballots, man. Every every ballot a write-in ballot. Hmm. You like that idea? Mm. How do we make that stick? Mm. I'm not sure we're capable of making that happen. Good, good. Then if, if only really two not. people in the country know how to spell the names of their favorite candidate, mm -hmm. then they get the say in who that can, who's going to be president then. Mm -hmm. Or who's going to be senator. Or whatever. <laughs> I guess you, what you could do is put a list of the candidates up there. And then you have to write in it. You can't just do a check. You could write in the name. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. So like, like, so like, okay. you've got Joe Biden, you've oh, got Donald okay. Trump, you've got uh, right. RFK Jr. And then, so then underneath that, you have the place to write it in. That that so might work. You, it's like a little. That might it, work. It's like a guide. Yeah, it's a guide. Uh, okay, that's oh, because you're how so you... stupid. We can't count on you to just think of the name. Yeah. While you're there in the voting booth with all that pressure, I mean, who can be expected to do that? Right. Right. Uh, so we'll give you a list, a choice to write in. Here's your here's your choices. You can write one of these names in, or if you want, come up with one of your own. But then you're running into danger territory that it might be might be somebody who. Uh, you know, you write in, I, I don't know, Donald Duck or something, and Donald can't win because he doesn't really exist. Well, you can write in somebody. But you could write right? in yeah, somebody yeah. if you want, and somebody of your own choosing, that's America. Yeah. Right? But that's that's not bad because, you know, maybe some people can't handle yeah, Rama Swan. Right. Right. Not that you'd want to vote for him in the first place. Right. Um, but uh, interesting. Yeah, okay. All right. That's a fair compromise there. Now, you might have wanted to vote for him had he appeared on the show when he had the opportunity. What are you? What? But when he dissed us time and time and time again, hmm. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. By the way, tomorrow is election day. Uh, don't forget. Oh yeah. So you've got a lot of stuff going yeah. on in your hometown. I'm sure your state. We got Proposition Five uh, that they're running ads for here in Texas. Wait. Are, for well, wait. Hold on. Proposition Five is uh, and, garbage. And yeah, you and they're telling. Vote against it. And they're not telling you. They're not telling you what it's about. They're just telling you to vote for it. Make sure you vote for Proposition 5. Well, what is Proposition 5? If you would ever vote for anything that just said vote for something without knowing what you're doing. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, you can't do it. You've got to research it. So we have Look into it, please. 14 uh, possible what constitutional <laughs> amendments on the ballot. Is that yeah. right? And then yeah. number five. It's so funny you brought that one up. That's the one where we dip into our rainy day fund in Texas. Yeah. To pay for research at universities. Right, but it won't cost taxpayers any additional taxes. We're not going to tax you for that. That's just money that comes magically to the oh, universities. That's not what our rainy day fund is for in mm -hmm. Texas. It's for right. rainy days. And a friend of mine pointed out that these universities that would be benefiting from passage of Proposition 5 um, have huge endowments. Yes, they let can them tap use their into. own. The University of Texas has... The second biggest endowment in the nation, second only to Harvard, which has something like $50 billion in their endowment fund. Texas, UT has, I think, 30 or $35 billion in their endowment. Use that! Mm -hmm. What's your endowment for? Preach. Use that for research. Preach. Don't ask me, who has no children there. <laughs> I've never gone to Texas. I'm not going to go to Texas. Nobody I know is going to Texas. No, I'm not going to pay for your, uh, your research. You do that yourself. And I don't want you taking our tax-paying dollars that we've already paid in, and now we have mm -hmm. this fund with extra money in it, you're not going to deplete that. No. No. 
for your liberal causes? Forget it. No. No. Everybody's listening right now has their own uh, races that they need to do their research on before they vote tomorrow. Right. But there's a uh, lot of stuff going on. And they try to deceive you like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Vote for Proposition 5. It won't cost you any money, and it's great for Texas. Oh. Mm, No. No, it's not. How do we keep dummies from voting? I don't know. You can't. Well, you can't. not that anyone asks, but if you're a Texas voter, uh, if you care of the 14 on the ballot, um, I voted against 5, 8, 9, 12. The rest of them I'm for. So against 5, 8, 9, 12. Yes, there we go. Okay, good guide for you. 5, 8, 9, 12. Be, a, be against guide. those. Don't ask questions. <laughs> don't ask me what they're about. Just vote against 5, 8, 9, and 12. Right. It's just so easy. He made it really easy for us now. I did, man. I, I'm, I'm always against well, if Keith taxes. voted against these, then I'm going to as well. Mm-hmm. That's all. Got to do research, man, because every one of those, and I'm sure it's like this in all 50 states, is that the, the wording is so legalese. You get in there, you're like, mm-hmm. what? It's like throwing a dart. You got to know going in. Jeez, I'm just looking at the uh, footage from this weekend in mm-hmm. the D.C. rally. My gosh, 300,000 people chanting from the river to the sea. You got a problem with that? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I, I kind of do. Huh. From the river to the sea. What does that mean? From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. How is that going to happen? Well, it's by the it's by and through the elimination of Israel. Yeah. That's how they own the land, from the river to the sea. Huh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, it's, it is a reference to the land between the Jordan River, if you don't understand this, the Jordan River, which borders eastern Israel, and the Mediterranean Sea, which borders west of um, Israel. So what happens to the Jewish people in between? Mm. They're eliminated. <laughs> uh, in 1966... Syrian leader Hafez al-Assad, the father of the country's current dictator, said, quote, we shall only accept war and the restoration of the usurped land, which it wasn't usurped, to oust you aggressors and throw you into the sea for good, meaning Israel. So, Hamas rejects any alternative to the full and complete liberation of Palestine from the river to the sea, according to their organization's constitution. Uh, The Home Secretary, Suela Braverman, tweeted after recent UK protests in which thousands chanted, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. The slogan is widely understood as a demand for the destruction of Israel. She added, attempts to pretend otherwise are disingenuous. Well, in a flat-out lie. They're more than disingenuous. So again, that's what they mean. When they when they chant from the river to the sea, it means the elimination of Israel and Jews. Oh, I thought it meant uh, we just want a peace fire, a humanitarian no. pause. That's not no, what that it's means? No, not the humanitarian from pause. From the river to the sea, we you want, want a, humanitarian a humanitarian pause, pause and ceasefire and you see. whatnot. Or wait, that's the same word except spelled differently. So that doesn't really rhyme, does it? Uh, all well, right, never anyway. mind. I can't think of it. Our nation and, uh, well, hell, the entire planet seem really stable <clears throat> right now, right? Oh, big time. Things yeah. are fine. Yeah, everything's going really well. I mean, thank you, Joe Biden. <laughs> everything's going really, really, really well. Good. Yeah, because remember when Trump was president, it was it was chaos like this too, right? Um, it was totally... no, no, actually, no. Hmm. The answer to that one is no. Okay. There was no action by Russia against Ukraine that entire four year period of time, and there were no wars. In uh, Israel against Hamas at the time, or Hamas against Israel. Oh, d- hmm. By the way, the six uh, hot states there in 2020, uh, the mm-hmm. controversial ones, uh, the <clears throat> silver state, uh, Georgia, Arizona, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. Have you seen that Trump leads in all, all of, of those them except, except for Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Interesting. All of them! You're going to have to widen Isn't that, that gap, awesome? though. you got to allow for that fraud that's going to be waiting in the wings. So. I love how the New York Times pointed out, though, well, but if Trump is convicted and goes to jail, he'll get, he's going to lose those five swing states that he wins otherwise. <laughs> oh, thank you for pointing that out. That's great. Yeah, so here are the, here are the numbers. He's plus 10, plus 6, wow. plus 5, plus 5, plus 4, and then uh, minus 2 in Wisconsin. I love that. Those are all Trump leading Biden head-to-head in those states. In the swing states. Now that, however, does not include an RFK or Cornell oh. West 
That's not good. On the ballot. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, boy. All right. If you're too busy this fall to cook, but you want to make sure you're eating well with Factor, you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, the prepping, the cleaning up, too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. Love these things. They're delicious and so easy. All you have to do is heat them up and enjoy. It takes like two minutes. You can adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step. Choose from 35-plus weekly flavor-packed, fresh, never-frozen meals that promote a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. All ready to eat again in two minutes. Relish the best of autumn with fall flavors. They're limited-time-only, hearty, comforting meals featuring seasonal veggies like cranberry pecan chicken and apple Dijon pork chops. Ready in just two minutes. They'll satisfy your fall cravings during this busy season without all the hassle. If you're looking for calorie-conscious options during this busy time, you can try delicious dietitian-approved calorie-smart meals with around or maybe even less than 550 calories per serving. Need an extra boost to support your wellness goals and feel your best as you tackle a busy autumn? Try Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. This November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready again in just two minutes with no prep and no mess. Factormeals.com slash pat50. Use the promo code pat50 to get 50% off. Half price. That's code PAT50 at Factormeals.com slash PAT50 to get 50% off. Pat Gray Unleashed. We'll be right back after this. Some tweets here. Uh, Lynn, Arizona. Oh, yeah. Tweets. Oh, look, I get an extra hour of Pat and Keith in the mornings. Mm. Time doesn't change in Arizona. Okay, good. Yeah, it doesn't really work that way, but... (laughs) Yeah, we're not doing... Still a two-hour show. Yeah, we're not doing three hours for Arizona today. No, no. Uh, Hee-haw, the Viking. Do they even specify that they get 72 virgin women? Mm. Or just 72 virgins? Virgin what? Oh, yeah. Well, based on some videos... Non-binary, maybe. Yeah, or I don't know. maybe not even mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. species. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Uh, sloth and gluttony awareness. Have we discussed the proven fraud this year in Connecticut yet? Oh, A oh. judge just threw out the primary results right. of two Democrats running for mayor in Bridgeport, where the current mayor <laughs> is a felon. <laughs> Gee, I love it here. Yeah. That town. Connecticut's great. That town, though, especially. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, Bridgeport? Yeah. yeah when, when it's I lovely. When I first started working for Glenn back in 2009, I remember going up there to uh, rent a room, possibly, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and took a little look. I got up there early because that's what I want to do. But you went I, all the uh, way to Bridgeport to rent a room? Well, I went up there to look at it. Oh. I had a friend that okay. lived in a town nearby. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. I can take the train, right? Can you take a train from Connecticut? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what yeah. I was thinking. Hey, you it's, know, uh, Amtrak North or it's uh, something north. Oh, good, a government yeah. solution. Yeah. Anyway, uh-huh. so uh, that town was so Metro north? sad. Oh, it's a sad town. So yeah. sad. And yeah, I, I like, didn't even want to go and look at the room. It was so bad. Mm-hmm. But anyway, congratulations. Somebody's mm-hmm. got to be the mayor, right? Bridgeport, Connecticut. Somebody. Freedom Froggy. Uh, Biden landed in Brunswick, Maine. And unfortunately, it was right around the corner from my house and work. I wanted to be a part of the welcoming committee so I could wave at him with one finger, (laughs) but I had to work. Wait, why? Tell me, I'm here number one. I think that's what he meant. Yeah, as in top of the list of worst presidents ever? Is that what you were doing there? No, no, no. Uh Uh-uh. Wow, that's that's unkind, Keith. (laughs) Sorry that I offended your president. You really did. Wow, that hurt. (laughs) Uh, Let's see, we got a leading report from House Speaker... House Speaker Johnson is now moving forward yeah. with the approval process to hand over January 6th videos to and images to, to the blaze. Oh, oh yeah, Come which on. got stalled under Kevin McCarthy, and now apparently Speaker Mike Johnson is gonna is going to actually hand over 
the 14,000 hours to us. So this is for sure going to happen, Chris? Yeah, according to... That's what they're, they're saying. Uh, Representative I'll believe Anna it when Polina. I see it. Yeah, Anna Polina Luna was talking uh, about this. But I don't think it's all... Oh, you don't 14, think it's all 14,000? I think it's everything that we've been doing, the investigative reporting about how the like Capitol Police could not have been where he said he was uh, and escorting hmm. people out. Okay. Uh, but one that I love the most is the newly surfaced J6 video shows that Ray Epps hmm. tells right-wing influencer, we're here to storm the Capitol. Right, yeah, hmm. but that, you know, he's he didn't mean that. What did he mean then? He meant uh, there's a storm coming and we should probably take oh, shelter. The rain. Yeah. In, mm-hmm. Inside yeah, the Capitol? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I could hear Adam Kinzinger <laughs> saying that. Oh, yeah. Defense. So yeah, pathetic. So our own investigative journalist, Steve Baker, has been all over this. Yep. I mean, he has uh, covered every inch of this, but mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Um, mm-hmm. It's the 14,000 hours. We want that. Yeah, we, we want it we, all. You're not going to just pick so and we can choose. Go through that. Somebody yep. here would do that. Oh, yeah. You're volunteering? Is that what I'm hearing? That's not I'm what you're hearing. Pat Gray wait a minute. Wait you're a hearing somebody many, here will do that. How many hours <laughs> in an uh-huh. average week do you spend watching, quote, documentaries? Um, Yeah, a lot. Okay. So maybe maybe you switch that out mm-hmm. and, and watch and watch J6 stuff and take man, notes. Man, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? This That's is a documentary. Great. Think about it as a documentary. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Not as an assignment, but uh-huh. as just like... Just enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah. Just fun. Take notes. Just sheer, unadulterated fun. So, you're doing this for your country then? Sure. Yeah. I am. So, you do love mm-hmm. America, correct? I do love and America. And you do want the January 6th tapes I released? I really do. Yeah. Yep. All of that. So, all of that. What's the problem? There isn't. There isn't a problem. There's no problem at all. I'm feeling hesitation. Why? I'm Are you saying, a patriot, sir? I'm saying there's no problem here. <laughs> what? <laughs> When we get that 14,000 hours, watch me we'll go. Watch. Yeah. Well, yeah. you just you got an extra that. hour this weekend. I Right? So use it wisely. Uh, oh, man. We better get all. I want everything. Yeah. I want it all. Me too. Me too. Show us the whole insurrection. Mm-hmm. I want to see it all. All right. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. <laughs> Welcome, Triple Eight Nine Hundred Thirty Three Ninety Three. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Yeah. Ah, uh, wow. So, Joe Biden over the weekend uh, signed another executive order. Oh, I love him. This one aims to incorporate the principles of critical race theory and equity into the development of AI. Yeah, the progressives are creating AI in their own image. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Here's a little bit of what Biden had to say about it. This is brilliant. Okay. See if you can stay with him because he's too sharp. He's so complex and sharp that you may not be able to hang with him, but try. And AI is helping the National Weather Service predict weather events, okay. helping web te- the web, te- web, te- te- web, te- web tub- telescope web tub- manage tub- half a million miles of galaxies away, billions of light years away. I found it when I was turning on my phone and saw that. I thought, Mike. Hey, where do you get the half a million miles away thing <laughs> before he said the billions of light years away? Where did. <laughs> You get that stuff. It just stuff just spills out of him accidentally. It's it's dementia. But you know, you can't point that out because he's wonderful. He's our president. Yeah. You know, listen to this again. See if you can keep up. And AI is helping the National right. Weather Service predict weather events. Right. Helping web tech the web web, te- web, te- web telescope. Good Lord. Web text talk ticks ticking talk Man, tick t- tele- telescope. Manage half a million miles of galaxies away. Manage half a million miles of galaxies away. Those are close galaxies. <laughs> you know, half a million miles? That's <laughs> okay, so out where 
about Saturn is, there's another galaxy, I guess, somewhere out there. Billions of light years away. Uh, okay, I found it when I turned on my phone and saw that. I thought, my God, what is this? What is Science this? fiction. <laughs> uh, I'm serious. I'm oh. serious. You, didn't you have the same thought when you saw it? No. Apparently not, no. Nobody had that same thought, mm. so. We've un- we understand that we can see out into space now. We get that. <laughs> I think I think there's a lot of lot of ways you could describe this program, Pat mm-hmm. Gray Unleashed. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the common themes, one of the well, taking it back to the beginning of the show, one of the threads. Oh wow! Of this show, nice how, tie-in. How we often nice throwback point to the beginning out of the show. How was good. awesome mm-hmm. and smart. Joe Biden is yeah. incoherent, sharp as a freaking tack. I think that's been one of our themes running through the years Mm -hmm. hasn't it been so that's just another example just another example of how sharp this guy is uh it's fantastic he said he had a little more to say about it which is good it's always already happening ai devices are being used to deceive people oh wow deep fakes use ai generated audio and video to smear reputations Speak yeah. for spread fake news and commit fraud. Speak, spread. With AI, fraud spread, can speak. take three second, and you all know this, three, three, second, three yeah. second recording of your voice. Three I've watched second. one of me on a couple of times. <laughs> I said, when the hell did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> he hardly ever knows when he said anything, or what he said, for that matter. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with AI. He just usually doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. So that's great. That's funny. That's he's a funny guy. Am I right? Who's oh, with right. me on that? How funny this man is. <laughs> Just Joe being Joe. Just Joe being Joe. He's wacky. Uh, he's nutty and uh, <laughs> stuff. He's demented. So whatever, whatever. Don't worry about it. Too late. That's great. <laughs> Are you worried about it? Um, yeah. Oh wow, that's. I can't. I can't. I can't hide behind the smile. <laughs> You can't. I'm a little, I know. A little terrified as an American, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, it's okay, because we're working on getting him impeached. Uh, Representative Comer was out talking sure. about some of the evidence sure. again. Sure we are. He was on uh, Maria Bartiroma, uh-huh. and uh, here's what happened. When are you expecting to issue the subpoenas to bring Biden family members in front of your committee, and how many subpoenas are you expecting to issue? Well, I think the subpoenas are imminent. I think this is going to be a big week. Look, first of all, we know okay. Tuesday, uh, my friend Jim Jordan, who's also on the Oversight Committee, but he's chair of the Judiciary Committee, doing a great job yeah. investigating the weaponization of the federal government. Okay. Uh, he's bringing in uh, Special Counsel Weiss for a deposition. That is a, a very important part of the overall impeachment inquiry investigation. Mm-hmm. There are also a, a lot of other documents that I think are about to be released this week pertaining to loans and different things that the, the Bidens have been engaged in that make no sense, uh, that are, are completely counter to what Joe Biden has said publicly. Uh, we're also, as you know, we've subpoenaed a lot of bank documents, and it's taken a long time to get these bank documents in. We're waiting on a few more uh, documents to come in that we've successfully subpoenaed, but it's taken forever. And, and again, Maria, I don't think the average person can imagine how many different checking mm. accounts mm-hmm. The president's son had, and considering he didn't have a legitimate business, that in itself is an enormous red flag. So once all those come in, I think you're going to see swift action on on Biden's, and I would I would predict uh, somewhere around two dozen subpoenas uh, in the very near future. Almost everybody I know has like 24 to 40 checking accounts, uh, you know, uh, Mm -hmm. that they can spread their money around in. Don't, isn't that the case with you? Uh, almost everybody I know is yeah. at least 20 and sometimes 40 or 50. I don't like talking about it, though. So yeah, I know. I, nobody does. Please don't just sit on me as an example here. <laughs> well, because Ask people him. like Comer are going to make it sound like it's nefarious or something. Mm. Like you've got something to hide. Mm. Huh. Like you're trying to launder money or whatnot. And so forth. I don't care, so, for, that. I don't is, care is, for it at all. This is my president and his family that we're... <laughs> You are disparaging yeah. the office itself now. So yeah. I won't have it. Huh. I will not okay, have so, it. Okay, so, I mean, at this point, mm-hmm. like, I don't want them to stop going down the impeachment road. I don't either. But it's like I'm looking at the no. calendar, and I'm thinking... We're a year away. Yeah, now yeah. Now, now it's a campaign it, issue. Yeah. As opposed to how much True. Biden sucks. Right. 
I mean, but they did it to Trump right at the end of his presidency. Yeah, so, right. Right. Screw that. Okay. Go ahead, Republicans. Yeah, I'm with Show you. Show them what it feels like. I just, I, and they I, were told then, look, you don't want to start this process. Mm. Really, do you? Do you want to get into this where both sides are going back and forth on this impeachment thing? And they're like, ah, it's too important. So they did it. Well, okay, now you're getting a taste of your own medicine. So, uh, boy, I've got a couple of thoughts here. Let's just say you spend the next year because they're uncovering this evidence. Like there's a new check that surfaces yeah, right. every week or whatever. Let's just right. say you don't. <laughs> there was a 200. We just saw the $40,000 loan thing mm-hmm. to loan. payment to Joe Robinette. Yeah. And then now there's a $200,000 loan repayment right. to Joe Robinette Biden. Wow. That guy's been loaning you a lot of money. For what purpose? <laughs> anyway, so, yes, no, we are so, getting evidence like crazy. So, okay, so let's just say you don't go forward with official uh, impeachment hearings, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. All right. Um, and then you just spend the next year gathering evidence. And then when they steal the election for him on November 5th, then you just drop all the evidence on November 6th and start the impeachment process. I mean, granted, mm-hmm. you're then going to have, you're going to be stuck with a Democrat with president. You Kamala know, for Harris. For the next four years. Which would be nasty. But let's just say you did go forward and started the impeachment hearings mm-hmm. today. All right. And let's say for it. whatever reason. You started the impeachment hearings today. I just said it. <laughs> and either he is impeached and convicted. Right. Or he's just pressured out by his own party. Now you're giving a head start for someone like uh, the gravitas of a sitting president, Kamala Harris, in 2024. Yeah, which would be not good. So I don't know what you do, I don't honestly. Know. I don't know if she could be popular enough to win even with that gravitas. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It, you, you, it would almost be a, a gift to to run against her, right? Yes. <laughs> As opposed to Joe yeah. Biden. I, I don't know. Either one of them, I honestly can't understand how either of them could be elected. I, I really don't understand it. <laughs> They're both, I mean, uh, her approval rating is somewhere in the 20s at best. His approval rating is usually upper 30s. How do you get reelected that way? Oh, you I, don't without cheating. Oh, yeah, you wait. don't. Wait, this is how you do it right here. I think we saw okay. earlier a recount, recount, oh, yeah, yeah. recount. That's how you do it. That's how, that's how it's done. Get your recount. money for nothing and your chicks for free. If you're listening to the and podcast, then you need to subscribe. Shame on you. Yeah. Because visual aids are very important on this program. Right. Okay. Yeah, we refer to him quite often. We're looking at ballots that overwhelmingly support Joe Biden because Crazy. America loves. But they did throw in a couple of obligatory Trumps <laughs> to make it look as though, <laughs> yeah, there were eighty-seven thousand votes and only eighty-six thousand nine hundred and thirty-six went to Biden. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait that a was minute. a good solid sixty-four that went to <laughs> Trump. I love the Joe Jurgensen uh, one that yeah, that's pops great. up there. I want to know: Did she get more legitimate votes or fraudulent <laughs> votes? <laughs> the, I mean, there's some people that were just like, "Dude, mm-hmm. we gotta, we gotta give the third party." Yeah, yeah, because somebody would vote for him. So let's just pretend. <laughs> All right, let me take a minute and tell you uh, about a really cool documentary that's coming. What really happened in Maui? I think we'd all like to know, right? August of 2023, the wildfires in Lahaina, Maui. The Biden administration took two weeks to fly the president out there. The events uh, leading up to the wildfire were left unclear. Um, Take a look at this trailer, and I think you're going to want to see this. 911. They blocked off all the exits. My car's on fire at the bypass. The deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. The story didn't end with the wildfire. It started with it. May help you. Is there an like, evacuation order? And you have to evacuate where the f- Reese is to go. I can't believe this. Jeez. Oh, I, the f- I can see the powers that be wanting to just erase everything. Could it be that there are nefarious interests that wanted Lahaina to go away? This would be a interesting investigative lead. I'm already thinking about ways for the state to acquire that land. We were second-class citizens. Lahaina has been raped long enough. 
What are they hiding? People died because there were roads that they couldn't escape and that they didn't know. We gotta get out of here. Just go. I have this survivor's guilt, but I still have a roof over my head. They wanted us to forget the story. But we didn't forget. We're trying to evacuate, but there is no, there is like no way out. So that debuts tomorrow. Blaze Media decided to go to Maui and expose the parts of the story that have been buried. So we're revealing new things never heard before by the public, including audio from the actual 911 calls. So this exclusive story is only on Blaze TV. Start of Blaze Originals. It's a docu-series from Blaze TV. It's only possible because of your support. If you aren't already a Blaze TV subscriber, go to blazetv.com and subscribe right now so you don't miss our first episode, What Really Happened in Maui. Use the promo code FUNGUSFREE and you'll get $36 <laughs> off. Ah, <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> fungus free. That's because we're free of fungus ads now. <laughs> so we're kind of proud of that. Yeah. Uh, not very many websites are fungus free, but we are. We're one of them. And you're going to enjoy... Excellent documentaries like that. And that's just the first in a series. Glenn's got one coming out soon. We'll tell you about that when the time comes. But this one debuts tomorrow. What really happened in Maui? Uh, A Halloween costume has landed an Antioch teacher on administrative leave. School board member confirmed to NBC Bay Area that a teacher at Sutter Elementary School painted her face dark. Oh, no. No, but that was... That wasn't, she wasn't being a black person. Yeah. Is that what you thought? <laughs> no. That was to represent nighttime. Yeah, which was. What are you, stupid? A little bit pointless anyway. <laughs> but now, that was a move that upset some te- some parents. I can't imagine. It was so difficult to find this picture. <laughs> like, we had to do a still <laughs> shot that was just barely caught in the background. That's how unoffended people Weird. at the scene were. Yeah, they didn't care. Because they would have been taking lots of pictures and lots would have been available. The teacher had the Scooby-Doo mystery machine okay. attached to her body uh-huh. and her face was painted dark to represent night with a green moon over her head. So it really was, I guess. Overachiever. It got you in trouble there. Uh, the costume was offensive to some and at least one school board member agreed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's cause for concern here. Cause Do we for- have to be offended by everything? Seriously, with the the way she did it, I was going to mock that it re- represented night. It apparently really did. Yeah. Come on now. We know that there's a long cultural historical background uh, here we of people go. putting dark makeup on. Educate me. And there's a lot of context there that we know is harmful to particular students of color okay. and yeah. very particular to the black community. Whatever. That's according to Antioch School Board member Antonio Hernandez. Regardless of what the, regardless of what the intention was, no, shouldn't the intention matter? Shouldn't it? Yes, it should. Regardless of what the intention was, we know what kind of feelings that image can provoke in parents, students, and in the community. Ah, it's so stupid. I'm so tired of how sensitive and how fragile we are. Come on. Come on. Pathetic. Here's what you should be offended by. Uh, this Democrat representative, Jasmine Crockett, she was on, I think this is CNN... MSNBC, I don't know. They're the same channel to me. I don't care. But uh, this is insulting stuff. This you should be insulted by. She is telling blacks um, why they don't love Biden. Oh. Just because they don't understand things. They don't get it. Perception is reality. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at the data that was provided in this poll. By the way, this is a black female Democrat speaking. If you're not familiar with Jasmine Crockett. It talks about how people feel. And when people decide whether they're going to the poll or whether they're not going to to the poll, Mm -hmm. it's all about how you feel in that moment. And so while the facts may not align with their feelings, their yeah. feelings are dictating their reality. Their reality is that they said that they feel better or uh-huh. they felt better when Trump was in office. Oh, wow. But we've been trying to push back. We've got trying some very back. popular. We're trying to tell them that they really didn't feel better. We're trying to tell them that they feel better now. We're trying to tell them what the real thing is because they're too stupid.
stupid to know how they should actually feel. They're too dumb to understand that things are so much better than they understand. What are you, stupid? We're trying to tell you things are great here. What's the matter with you? Why won't you listen? African-American artists that are out here saying things like, oh, I got checks when Trump was in office. I want those checks again, not understanding that that really came from Congress. (laughs) So we've got a couple of things, the perception Uh, issue. And then we also have an issue issue. as it relates to civics in this country and people not understanding exactly how any of this works. If you're black, are you not massively offended by that? She is telling you, if you're a black person, you don't understand how things work. That's why. You're just too stupid to vote for Biden. But we're trying to help you understand that's who you need to vote for. Because if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. Wow. I mean, that's pathetic. This, are these the people you want to follow down this road still? Do you still want to follow them down the plantation road? Because that's what they're doing. They're just leading you right back to the plantation. That's what they're doing. And it's despicable. And it's racist. I don't care if she's black or not. That's racism right there. You, you've you just insulted an entire minority of people. And they get away with it all the time. Every single time. If a white person had said that, if a Republican had said that, <laughs> It would be the lead story on CNN and MSNBC for a month. And the New York Times would be calling for your resignation right now. Ugh, jeez. I can't take it. It's just unbelievable. Um, also, the fallout continues from uh, the hockey murder. Mm-hmm. Man. Apparently, there's uh, there's been some issues with this guy raising a skate before. Yeah, so there was a true? video. I didn't send it in because I just didn't... You didn't think it was... I didn't pick up the same vibe off of the video mm. from about 10 years ago. Uh, maybe we'll send it in for tomorrow. But anyhow, it's um, it's this guy, Matt Petgrave, playing in a game, and his skates uh, go up, but not nearly... The same kind of same. maneuver there yeah. people are saying? Let's see it. Oh, no, Is I, it I in slow motion? I oh, you didn't send it in. I didn't send it in. Oh, okay. Because... <laughs> So we just have to trust you that it's not worth the effort. Yeah, you should you should filter all of your. Hot <laughs> How do takes. we know you were just you just didn't want to bother? How do we know that you were just too lazy to send it in? Right, Control C. Mm-hmm. Um, it's too much effort. Too much. Yeah, see, so, so how do we know that this guy hasn't tried to murder people before? We more, don't know. We more, don't know. It's more like control C and then control V. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thank you right. for you're making so, my point. It's right. too many it's steps. Too many that's, steps. That's a lot control of steps. C. Well, in and your it's hard. Send. It's hard. Send. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, you're totally skipping where I have to open my email app. <laughs> okay. Hit compose. All right. Then control V. Oh my gosh. Then hit send. Oof. I mean, it's a good eight, nine steps involved. Wow. Gentlemen. That's too much. I don't blame you for not sending it in. Too so, much. Too thank much. Thank you. Maybe tomorrow. You need to rest. Maybe tomorrow. Please get rest. a nap in today. Yeah, if I get a nap in, in today, okay. I'll wake up in. and I'll go, oh, yeah. control Z, control V, open, wow. send. Wow. Go back to That's sleep. a lot, though. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Did you write well, it down? I, I didn't. It's Ooh. too much to write down. I'm oh, too okay. lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. But you guys hey, are producers. You're supposed you know to be doing I did, oh, okay. I did my bidding. Right? I, I, write it down. I yeah. did send a... Oh, by the way, this is a fact. This isn't, uh-huh. this isn't a bit. Um, if we're going to get that hockey video for tomorrow's show, uh, Chris is going to go find it again. Uh, so um, uh, there is a sports video that is making the rounds. You remember USC Saturday night had this... They lost again. They lost again. It was a knockout dragout fight. Uh, Washington, right? Yeah. Uh, right, okay. Huskies. Huskies, mm-hmm. and then um, and then Caleb Williams, who is the. Presumed... I got nothing to talk about though on the college football. Oh, that's uh, fine, bro. Bro. Uh, landscape. Did you lose it? Yeah, what? lost oh, okay. big time. Got it. Oh, terrible. Oh. I, okay, it's just it was the final straw. Here we go. Me. Here we go. Go the, ahead. The BYU Cougars. I feel bad for you because that was a beatdown. Kind of sucked this year. Yeah. How bad? Thirty-seven to seven to it West wasn't, Virginia. It wasn't even that close, honestly. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> But I stopped watching. Cause I can't fully testify to it because I stopped watching at twenty four nothing. I All went. Right. I went away. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I will say that um, Big Ten officials uh, screwed over Nebraska four times <laughs> in the fourth it's quarter. Always the officials for you. No, it is not. Yes, it is. That is almost bull every crap. time. Oh my god! Almost gosh. every time. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons blew it 
themselves in the Super Bowl, I'll have you know. It had okay. nothing to do with referees. Or right, anything. okay, that's one instance. But what? it was the refs this time with Nebraska? No, it was the refs four times four with times. Nebraska in four the times. fourth quarter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I know you care. I big time, big time. They, so let, let's they lost quickly. To... We're going to run out of time. Who with was the... it? Michigan State. Okay, yeah, right. So anyway. Two and six Michigan State, but who am I to talk? Uh, not anymore. They're not doing. No, six. they're three and six See? now. They're a See? whopping three. They're on fire right Bro, now. Bro, I'm telling you, they've won one in a row. I was so pleased when we didn't open up the show talking about college football because I knew yeah. that the audience was going to hear oh, me bad. rant. Well, all three of our teams care. lost. Uh, BYU lost. I had a bad Nebraska weekend. lost. Missouri lost. Play the Caleb Williams crying. Let in me the just stands. say this about Missouri huh. yeah. though. Well, let this play while he's talking. They gave the number one ranked team in the country all they could handle. I will say that. I mean, I'm I'm going to be a Missouri fan the rest of the year. Yeah. Oh no, he's he's weeping like yeah. a three year old girl. I'm not drafting that guy. Oh no, Caleb. I'm not drafting him. Caleb. <laughs> Look, I'm the most competitive person I who's know he? in sports. His who's parents, holding him there? His That's mom, his mommy. Oh my gosh. Mommy, That's I'm crying. Embarrassing. It's totally embarrassing. You, are you serious? Are you drafting that unstable emotional Dude, individual? I no. love. I, I love There's passion no in sports. Crying in football. You can't be doing that. Stop no, it. that is pathetic. I have, I have never <laughs> cried after a game. <laughs> That's sad. Oh my gosh! So there's your there's your future oh, quarterback. Oh, speaking of crying after oh. a loss, how about Deion Sanders losing oh, again? Oh my goodness! Some Oregon of the worst State. coaching oh, at man. the end of the first half, especially there. Jeez. Yep. I mean, I, what did I say when they were three and two or something? I said this team's not making a bowl game. What are they now? Yeah, they're four and five. <laughs> but again, I shouldn't talk. Yeah, I shouldn't either. They killed Nebraska. <laughs> this is Pat Gray unleashed.